This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 15, Processing Arrays, Puzzle 9. Counting occurrences of a value. Instead of displaying a true-false value for every item in the list, let's compute one value and display it. Ooh, I bet a variable. A common thing to, a common thing to want to do is count the number of times a value occurs. We can do this with a very small change to the code we already got. Starter code is similar to past levels. We've also created a variable called count five count. Ha ha, I thought we might need a variable. And an if statement inside the for loop to increment, right, to add to five count if the value is equal to five. Okay, so if it's equal to five, we're adding one to that variable. Note, this is exactly the same as the if statement you wrote in the previous level just giving you more practice. Run and rerun the code to make sure that it's actually counting the number of fives in the array. Since the array is getting a random set of values every time you run the program, you might have to run it a bunch of times to thoroughly test it. Make sure you get it to run at least once when no fives appear in the array. Finally, if you'd like to, change the first loop in the program to add 100 times to the array instead of 10. Your code should still work to count the number of fives, no matter how big the original is. Okay, so hopefully if you watched my tutorial on the last one, your code is already working great. Um, but let's give this a shot. So our code's going to go here, and they want us to add, add an if statement inside the for loop to increment five count. Oh, here's their variable five count. So we want to add an if statement. Boop. Two. Okay. And this is the same as last time. So I thought they'd give us our code back. We want to check, right? So we have our array up here, and our array is being created by appending the values to it each time this loop runs. A random number to it. So we want to check then if test array. And then what are we going to use to get the index? We're going to use what the variable we're iterating with, which is i, right? i. And i is going to keep going as long as it's less than the length of test array, which means test array 0 will return a value, test array 2, and it's just going to keep going till the end of test array. So we can check each value. And if that value is 5, we want to add 1 to our variable. Let's do it the fancy way we learned how. So you can do, this is correct, 5 count equals 5 count plus 1, right? But we also learned the fancy way, which is the shorthand, 5 count plus plus. This is what programmers use a lot. That just means plus 1. And then, did they want an else? I don't think so. Nope, they just want us to count and then output it. Oh, they already are. All right, so let's try this out. Yep, zero fives. Two. Yep, cool. Cool, so that's working. So it was similar to the last one. Um, the tricky part is making sure that you use the array's name and i and understand that you're looking at each index as this loop goes through and checking with the uh, equality operator if it's equal to 5. If so, you're adding 1 to 5 count. So you're counting up the 5s, literally. All right, let's uh, keep going. 